I took Practical Objects class for ESC 412, and I thought a lot of the math and applications of it seemed really cool. And I knew that he had a lab, and it seemed like there was kind of a nice transition. I saw like the opportunity for a nice transition into it, and I think it probably the most I've learned in college has come from that lab. I knew that I wanted to do some kind of research and sat in on one of the lab meetings and just really liked, first of all, the work that was being done. I thought it was really interesting and, and the robots that people worked with. And then on the other hand, I really liked the community of the lab itself. So I guess I started out doing electrical things like soldering boards, which was useful since I didn't know how to solder at the time, and then moved on to uh, motor type things like doing control tests and some characterization tests. And then I moved on to walking things with the tail for maybe a short amount of time, but there was a lot of math and reading involved, which was really interesting because that was kind of the application of things we learned in dance class. And now I'm doing something kind of cool, which is almost creating my own robot, like from scratch, which has been fun. Um, I've been doing the electronics and boards of it. Kind of like Shafag, I started um, with very basic mechanical tasks. I started getting more and more responsibilities, so working on sections of research for someone. So I worked a lot with Aaron Johnson on a particular paper that he was writing where he attached a tail to the robot and let it fall and tried to have the robot correct itself in midair and land on its feet. If uh, you design the robot in a certain way, you might be able to use the natural dynamics of how the legs fall and the way they want to recirculate, and the fact that when you hit touchdown, the legs kind of synchronize themselves. Basically, the research I'm doing is uh, bio-inspired robot. It's in bio-inspired robotics. So people at this Royal Veterinary College, veterinary students, biologists, looked at the ways that dogs walk over rough terrain and they notice they exhibit a certain pattern when they transition from flat ground to rough terrain. The first thing we did was model a uh, controller based on this behavior and implement it on the robot and now we're in the part where we're actually testing this controller, seeing if it matches what we observed in the dogs and then trying to learn why, you know, why the dogs might exhibit the behavior they do through the robot's performance. So I'm kind of venturing away from robotics for a little bit, I guess. Um, I'm going to be working at Northrop Grumman in their aerospace division in California. I'm not entirely sure what it is they'll be working on because I need clearance to start on it first. I'll be working for a robotics company called Robotic Research, and it's just outside of Washington, D.C. in Maryland. And it's a very small company, so you don't really get hired for a specific role, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I want to continue to do the style of work that I've been doing with the lab where I get to do different things every day. 